Hi, I'm Simon from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have a Power One Aurora uh, inverter. This is the intern indoor model and uh, you can see on the screen here it's coming up with alarm INT error which is internal error and uh, it's just made it go away <laughs> but uh, there it is again. In internal error and it's code EO19. You can see the orange fault lights on there. Now the Internal error code EO19 on the Power One Aurora inverters is, as it says, an internal error with the inverter. The inverter is trying to, on, on startup, uh, try and do a test to make sure there's no earth leakage on the DC side, on the solar panel side of the system. And uh, that's an internal test it does to make sure, okay, are we reading the right, are we getting the right information? And uh, it's trying to do this internal test, and it's uh, and that test has failed. It so it's it's saying, okay, we got an error, we got an issue here. We got this internal error code EO19. Now, one thing you can try if you do get an EO19 error like this is a reboot of the system. Most of the time, it's not going to work, but it's worth a try. And so, with a, a reboot of a system like this, you always follow the shutdown procedures, which should be something like this: turn off the solar supply main switch. That'll be located in your switchboard or the inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator here. If your, if your inverter is beside your switchboard, you might not have an inverter AC isolator, you might just have the solar supply main switch. So we just throw that off, and then we turn off the PV rate DC isolator located at the inverter as well. And over here, we have that PV rate DC isolator, and I'll wait for the screen to go completely blank, just like so, and then we'll attempt to reboot the system. Now the uh, reboot of the system is nowhere near as important in the order as a shutdown procedure, so we just make sure we turn everything on. So we throw the DC on, and we throw the AC on, and we give it a little bit of time to just go through its internal checks, and you see pretty much immediately it's come up with the fault light again and the code EO19. So look, in this case here with this inverter, it's an issue which is either going to need the inverter uh, repaired by the manufacturer or it's going to need to be replaced. And so if your inverter is still within the five year warranty period, then it will certainly be something which will be covered under warranty. However, we find usually the Power One Aurora inverters are usually about five years or older by now. And so a lot of time it just works out better to replace it with a good quality new inverter with a full warranty. So with these inverters, if you are wanting to try and cover it under warranty, you do want some information about the inverter. You want the, the size of the inverter and uh, the serial number of the inverter. Unfortunately, with these internal indoor models, they don't really, uh, it, it does, it's not easily available, readily available. With the external models, it's usually on the side of the inverter somewhere. With these internal models, you can pull this cover off here, uh, which has got a, a screw, which is small, flat we usually uh, get off. And you can open this up here. And you don't want to touch anything in here. These are live terminals. But you can see this here, here is a Power One PVI 2000. That's the model. And there's a serial number and the week of manufacture there as well. And so that's the information you would require if it's you know, going to be covered under warranty. As you can see here, it's week 48 of 2010. So this one's well and truly out of warranty now. And so in this case, we're going to replace it for the customer with a brand new one, with a, a brand new inverter, with a full manufacturer's warranty to go with it. So look, if you're on the Gold Coast or Southeast Queensland area, and you've got an issue like this with your Power One Aurora inverter, don't hesitate to get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We can certainly help. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.